friends. Today in this video lecture we will try we will start new tab, new tab, the motion and measurement of the space. We all travel from one place to another almost every day. We go to school, or to buy grocery items, or to our friend's house, or to visit the doctor, or to the playground, etc. etc. Many places are there. So how do we go to these all places? We go to these all places. Okay, the basic thing we can reach these places is walking. Ancient people traveled mostly on their feet and carried their things on their head or back. Later, human learned to tame animals and used some animals like donkey, horses, camels, elephants, etc., for transportation and carrying their goods from one place to another. That what happened. After the invention of bullock, transportation became more easy. People started to use bullock cart, etc. And with the new discoveries and invention, people started traveling long distance in very less time. Let us see what is measurement. Measurement is the comparison of an unknown quantity with some known quantity of the same kind. Measurement of any object consists of two parts. First is unit of measurement, and the second one is number of units the object measures. Okay, these two things are very much essential for measurement. Earlier, these uh, scales, measuring tape, and all were not invented, people used non standard unit of measurement. First, the most basic one was hand span. What is hand span? The length between tip of the thumb and little finger, as you can see in the picture. Length between tip of the thumb and the little finger. It is called one hand span. It has been the most important and conventional technique for measuring length, breadth, and height of the object, but it lacks preciseness since it varies from person. It was cubic. What is cubic, student? You can see from this picture, it must have been clear to you what is cubic. The length between the tip of the middle finger and elbow is called cubic. This technique was used to measure the string of a kite, but it also differs from person to person, therefore, it lacked preciseness. Cubic, this length, it also differed differ from person to person. Next was step. It is a distance covered by a step. This picture you can see. Distance covered by a step. It was conventionally used to measure the length of the rope, but it also differs from person to person. Therefore, it also lacks precision. Very well, you can see the size of your step and your uh, father's step. You can see the difference. So this was this was also considered as non-standard unit. So let us come to standard unit of measurement. A standard unit is a unit which has a fixed value which does not change from person to person or place to place. It is fixed all over the world. <clears throat> it, is not, it is not changing from person to person or place to place. So this SI unit of length is meter, <clears throat> SI unit of time is second, SI unit of length is kilogram. Now, what are the necessary precautions for accurate measurement of length? When you are measuring something with the ruler, what you should do? The scale must be placed properly from one end to the other end of the object to be measured. It should be properly placed. Second, the object must be measured from zero mark of the scale. From the, you all would have seen the scale from the zero mark. Whenever you start measuring the length of any object, start measuring it with zero or in case the edge of the scale showing zero is broken some other digit can be taken as the initial reading okay if the zero if the zero is broken then what we can do we can take some other unit some other digit that is one or two whichever is clear in the scale from there for initial reading Devices for measuring length are there are different devices used for measuring length. 
here you can see ruler measuring tape meter scale vernier clip screw these all are the different different devices with the help of which we can measure the lens ruler the length of your compass box we can measure using ruler then measuring tape if the object is round then we use measuring tape it can also be used to measure the waist when you go to tailor shop you would have seen that he uses measuring tape to measure your waist because it is a flexible because this one is the flexible one okay it can increase which you can uh, increase the reading or decrease the reading, reading as per the convenience next is meter scale it can be used to measure the height of the box height of the box is measured with the help of meter scale and next is vernier clip or screw they are used to measure very small length which are less than 1 mm with accuracy those objects which are less than 1 mm it is used it is the vernier clip which is used for measuring it measuring curved line with a thread to measure use the thread from one end of the curved line to the another end by stretching the thread along the line okay take one end of the thread and how much you have to measure you take the thread you stretch it till there till the thread till the line and you, after after you are done send in the thread and measure its length with the help of a scale after you have finished the measuring the curved line take the thread from there and put it Scale, you will and see the and note the reading. You will get the reading. And this was the end of your first part. Next week I will be uploading the second part. And you can take the notes from this video itself by pausing the video in between. Thank you, students.